hello friends welcome to my channel gravitation now in this video we will discuss how to import the step file and then how to create the meshing what exactly is the difference between meshing on a meshing around this uh, hole when we are creating a washer and meshing around a hole without washer so we will check how it will affect the quality of mesh so we will start with so once we click on the hyper mesh icon it will open in this format so that is a user profile is visible to us application here we have selected hyper mesh let's select as the we want to do the post processing in suppose radio so i have selected here radios and click on this ok button now when we are about to import a file we need to take care about the format what exactly we are importing is it a geometry or it is a hyper mesh file or it is a model so suppose if you go on this import model option and now suppose this is the initial files those we are selected in this final selection so simply if you click on this it will get erased so this is the option to erase that is called as remove all now we'll go to option that is select files and now i have saved the file on the desktop but now it is not visible because see what it is saying files of type hypermesh dot hm or if i click on all the files so this is the step file i want to import washer comparison dot step so if i click on this and go to this option that is open see what is happening it is coming over here again you need to click it and import now see what is the error we are getting that the file specified is not in a hyper mesh database so what care we need to take here that it is not a model we are importing it is a geometry we are importing so when we go for this import model dot hm file is the file format we want to import but if you click on this import geometry option then we can import the geometry in the specified formats so this is the care you need to take that we click on we should click on import geometry option now here it is a file type asking so we can select here stp or step both are same now this initially though if any files are there so that it is showing in this browser so now we'll click on this select files and now see here it is file of type so it is selecting step files automatically and uh, now see here it is washer dot stp file so simply we need to click it and go to the option that is open now when finally we are importing again we need to select it and then click on this option that is import and now close it you see this file is imported we will click on the surface now go to this model option this component now yellow color instead of yellow color, color i will select some other color or simply you can go to this option select from leash and go to option by 2d topology so this is we in this way we can change the color or from here also we can change the different colors okay so if here we click on this auto option now the color that we have selected here that will appear suppose i selected the different color so in this way we can change the color so whichever you find it comfortable to your eyes you can take it okay so uh, I found this one as comfortable and here I will select 2D topology okay so in this way I can see the file format file view now after importing the first step is 
that we will try to create the mid surface of it so in this geometry option only we need to click on this mid surface and now so this solid i have selected complete solid and extract and click on this return button so now we'll check how it is creating a mid surface so if you switch off this option so in this way it has created its mid surface since there was a change of plane at the center here somewhere so it is showing this uh, green color line so it is a change of surface or these two surfaces are different from it that can be concluded okay now we'll see to do the meshing of it so for to, to do the meshing it is a 2d component so we'll go to this option that is 2d and in the auto mesh panel so now it is asking us to select the surface first so we will select this one as the surface and now suppose element size target element size i will give here as 5 and click on it and mesh it So it is generating a mesh go to the option return so if you click on this option so the mesh will be visible to us now again mesh color we can modify here suppose i will take it as a green color so see this is the mesh we have generated onto this surface now let's check what is its quality index so it is showing a good quality that is 0.01 component quality index and failed atoms are zero so a good quality of mesh is created here since there are no irregularities it is created well now go to the option that is return we can delete this so elements all i have selected and then simply click on this option delete delete entity so it is deleted now we'll check how to create a washer so go to the option that is geometry quick edit and washer split so offset value i will give equal to the element size so that is 5 enter and now click on this line and then go to this option that is a 2d auto mesh and now select it and then mesh it so see what will happen around the whole a good quality of mesh is created again we will mesh this surface go to the option return so in this way we can create a mesh by creating a washer and here again we can create a mesh without creating a washer so you can see if there is a good quality of mesh uh, we can generate by creating a washer